Sierra Westbrook was a 32-year-old mother of four whose body was found in a driveway on Friday, August the 23rd. Investigators say she appears to have suffered blunt trauma to the head. Sydney Ferguson reports on the investigation and the family's search for justice. Across at the entrance of a home on County Road 4203 in Deweyville marks the last place Sierra Westbrook was seen alive. Westbrook is described by her family as a woman who lit up any room she entered and never took no for an answer. Like everybody else, we had our problems, but she always got to come home. Nobody deserves to die like that. The 32-year-old mother of four was found dead here, just a street away from her mother and stepfather's home. Her family says she'd gotten into an argument with them and walked away to cool off. She did drugs, so she, sometimes she acted real crazy. In the last three days of her life, she was acting kind of crazy. But the last three weeks of her life, she wasn't. She was, she was clean. Somebody gave her drugs again. A neighbor tells the family he saw Westbrook alive in front of the nearby home, but just minutes later, investigators were blocking off the road, responding to reports of an unresponsive female. A Newton County constable posted, saying she seems to have suffered blunt force trauma. Westbrook's stepfather says he had to identify her body. I couldn't recognize her. I had to look down at her tattoo on her right leg to see if it was her. No parent should have to bury their kid before they die. The Newton County Sheriff's Office is investigating Westbrook's death as a homicide, but says they have to be careful about what information is released. Autopsy results are pending, but Sheriff Burby and Westbrook's family ask that anyone with information come forward. Think about the family. Let's think about us. Because, uh, you know, we got people out there uh, doing things like this. You know, none of us are safe. I hope somebody comes forward and lets us know what happened. That's all. I just want justice. I miss it. I'm Sydney Ferguson reporting in Newton County. The family started a GoFundMe to help with funeral arrangements. You can find the link on our website, kfdm.com. Anyone with information on Westbrook's death can call the Newton County Sheriff's Office directly at 409-379-3636.